Hey guys, what's up everybody? This is Edukris here. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to change this video into that video. Yeah, cinematic effect on videos using Danger Resolve. That's the main thing, right? So let's get jump into it, right? So we are on a preset up uh, Danger Resolve Studio version, but you can do this on the free version, but with some limitations. But yeah, we can get into that uh, later in this video. So let's get into that, uh, you know, making the video into a cinematic video, right? So yeah. So we are going to convert this video into a cinematic video. So what we are going to do is we are going to drag this video into the timeline just like this. And we are going to hold alt and just drag that up. So the video is just getting duplicated and just placed up. OK, so we got uh, two copies of this video. You can do it anyhow, but this is the easiest way to do it. OK, so just select both of those clips and just right click and go to the new fusion clip right so what we are done is we are we have done uh, we have created a new timeline okay so it's just a fusion, fusion clip right so we are gonna go into that timeline right now so we are going to just right click and go to the opening timeline option just click on it so what we are here right now is uh, on a separate timeline. It's inside that fusion clip. It's, it's just like Inception, right? So it's like inside the dream, but no, not like that. You're just inside that timeline. So what you have to do right now is you have to go to the color tab. So color tab is a very powerful tab in Danger Solve. So what you have to do is you have to make sure you are selected on the V2, video two of the clip because it is the clip that is on the top, right? So just select that. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it will be automatically selected, but you know, you have to keep an eye on it. Okay, so just go there. And what we have to do is just uh, go to the magic mask. I'm already on that mask because I have done this uh, several times. So uh, if you are not on that, you will be like, like this, right? So you have to go to the magic mask there. That's it. Then what you have to do is you have to get on this uh, plus side icon, right? And you you would not see anything like this. Okay, so and what you have to do is just draw on the subject or the object you want to, uh, you know, separate. So uh, the blue line indicates uh, the things that get selected and the red line indicates the things that you don't want to get selected. Like, you know, I'm going to uh, click on that qualifier minus sign and I'm just going to uh, draw a red line around the surroundings. So I'm telling the damage you solve that, bro, do not select that red line stuff. I only want the stuff that I just drew blue line on it. Simple as that. So damage you solve is pretty clever. It will figure it out. Okay. So. Uh, after that, what we have to do is it just some, you know, <laughs> when we look at this uh, right now on this stage, it just look like, you know, some kid draw something, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looked terrible. But, you know, just click on this toggle mask overlay. If you click on that, you can see that there is a slight red tint over the object that is selected and there is not tint at all on the object that is not selected. Okay. So, uh, on this case, uh, we are on only going to select the foreground subjects that we want to keep in focus, right? So we're going to select that helmet and the bike right there. Okay, so that's it. Now we have to do or make uh, keep the selection all over the video, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to click on that, that, you know, this uh, arrow that goes like this left and right. Yeah, that arrow. So the danger resolve will track that throughout the video. That's great, right? So uh, we are seeing that on live here. We are recording on OBS and I, I, I just got a low end gaming PC and it is doing very super fast. I like danger resolve right now. It's so, so good, right? So uh, this is uh, right uh, on this stage. Uh, this video is not uh, not used to you. You know, you have to add an alpha output in order to make this uh, foreground uh, and the background separation. You know, just uh, make the background transparent. So just connect that uh, blue thing to that blue thing right there. Then what you have to do is just go to the edit 
and go to timeline one right there we are exiting out of the fusion clip okay we are only entering into the fusion clip uh, fusion clip in order to just uh, separate that uh, foreground and the background then we are going back to the timeline where we have uh, duplicated the clip and created the fusion clip our original timeline over there what we are going to do is uh, put the cursor right up on the fusion clip then go to the fusion tab so here don't don't be afraid it's a very simple thing so it's a media one and media in two and uh, both are getting merged and go to the media out so we know that the media in two is the clip that we have separated right so if we click on this dot uh, right view we can see that the background is transparent so this is the one that is on the top right so just uh, click on it and just drag it out so we want to blur out the background right so in order to see that we just go to the media out real quick and we are gonna click on the media in one and go to shift space then uh, search for a lens blur uh, this is where the uh, free version of the studio mm, gets a little bit of flag because uh, the lens blur is a premium feature so you can use other blurs over here okay so it won't be as convincing but it will be it will do the job i think so i'm gonna use lens blur right here so just add it then what we have to do is uh, we can control the lens blur but there is an important uh, slider over here it's called anamorphism just reduce it so that we will get that cinematic uh, camera anamorphic look also highlights make uh, the bokeh very creamy so it's it's super good okay then uh, when we go back to the editor that's it you're done right so when we go back we can see that uh, our clip is uh, cinematic right now so it's a very fast process so uh, the whole thing just took around uh, five or six minutes and with me explaining to you it just only took around that so if you are doing this daily you can just you know do it like do it on the fly right so that's it uh, this is a video so in order to export it just export it it won't even take that long because danger is always so much optimized guys oh man i cannot tell how good of a video editing suit this is so do it try it out be creative you can just make your footage look like a cinematic footage footage that is captured with a like a whatever expensive lenses with your smartphone which is not even an iphone i'm just I just shot this on a Poco F1, which is four years old, man. And if you look at it, would you tell that is that is a phone that you know that's an that's a Poco F1 it's camera? Is that my God? This uh, this video editing app is very great. That's it. So if you want to get another tutorial, just go to this site. You you know the drill. Just subscribe turn on the notification all this stuff bye bye